Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to do a quick review over the PPS cylinder kit, upgrade cylinder kit for the VSR10. Let's open it up. When you take it out, it looks real nice, you know? It's polished. You can see where there was some machining. It's not, you know, an Action Army Teflon cylinder. But that looks to be all right. Looks like there's no indentions. It should function as needed. Let's take that top off. You get a piston. Whoa, look at that. It just shot out on me. Look at that. But you do get, must be a tough spring. It says 500 FPS, so it might be 550 actually. Either way, you get a dampener on your cylinder head, which is nice, quiets it down a little bit. And you also get a good O-ring doesn't seem to be damaged on arrival that's always a good thing I guess it is steel now this is the piston and I must admit I really like this design it's a 45 degree design as you can see there it is a three piece or four piece design something like that but uh, these are free just like the Action Army ones and then this stays tight but I would recommend unscrewing this let's do that real quick once that's unscrewed you can see I did that with my hands imagine you turning the bolt a hundred times what's that gonna do probably loosen that up too I would put some super glue be careful not to get it on the o-ring I put some super glue and re-glue this part on it we got that screwed on so let's move on to the next which is the spring very nicely polished I would think it's probably 500 to 550 FPS spring. And lastly, a really thick spring guide filled in steel with three brass shims on the back to keep the twang down with the spring. Altogether, though, it's a good little package for $45. Um, you really can't beat it. It's everything you need. and. Uh, you can throw in some new sears, uh, make sure that they're steel. PPS actually makes them two and a one sear or two sear connected. Uh, those are about uh, $7 to $15. Uh, you will need to do it if you're doing a 45 trigger with anything above like 350 FPS because that trigger, that stock maru is just going to wear out real quick. Um, this is a cheaper alternative to the Action Army uh, Misume. Uh, bolt cylinder uh, I would say just because you know it's half off and you don't have to buy one of these which is the piston for $40 or $38 nowadays you don't have to buy one of those for $25 you don't have to buy well I guess that comes with the cylinder for $90 and then you have to buy a spring for $15 so this kind of just gives you everything you need and uh, can't go wrong I'm gonna install it um, I've already installed this before. I have it running on my, actually my nickel stainless steel Pro Hunter VSR10, and it it works phenomenally. Once you super glue that piece on, it doesn't come loose, and you can just bolt and shoot, bolt and shoot. Has good compression. The O-ring is a solid O-ring. Pretty sure it's a size 13 O-ring. Um, don't worry about this little guy. You think that'd be dangerous, but that actually creates a better air seal and uh, the rubber gasket dampener on this guy sits oh and even look even in dents even in dents in there so it sits nice and flush you know PPS makes some pretty good parts um, they make good standard parts for guns nothing too fancy it just gets the job done and they're reliable you know they're built tough and uh, that's all you can ask for an airsoft gun reliability is the number one thing and uh, with these VSR 10s they are reliable but sometimes it'll go down in the middle of a game and you'll hate yourself for it make sure you keep good care of your rifle make sure you don't over tighten your screws over torque them Loctite is your best friend and as always, guys, have a great one. See ya.